First, though, a big step towards setting sail for the first time since the pandemic started. One cruise company now given the green light to start doing test runs. As leaders at the port say, restart dates are finally in sight here. This is News 6 at 530. Getting results, I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gatz, and the CDC has approved Royal Caribbean's plan to set sail for test cruises. That means now the company will be able to book trips with passengers as early as next month. News 6's James Barbero spoke with leaders today about the good news. It's starting. They're getting back in business. And it's, uh... After 14 months, Port Canaveral CEO says he finally has positive news on restarting America's cruise industry. We're seeing progress. We haven't seen it in a long time, and we're really excited to be seeing it now. Captain John Murray says, pending CDC approval, Port Canaveral could have a test cruise before the end of next month. A test cruise is now booked for late June in Miami. We are finally there. Where Royal Caribbean CEO announces his line received approval for a three-day test cruise departing June 20th. As we restart, there will be some more restrictions than before but we expect they will be temporary and similar to what we've all become used to on land. At sea, the CDC says test cruise passengers need to be at least 18 and vaccinated or without a medical condition that would put them at high risk of getting severely sick. The port says it's helped give vaccines to 2,500 cruise line employees with 5,000 more scheduled. If ships have 98% of their crew and 95% of passengers vaccinated, the CDC says they can skip the practice runs and resume regular cruises in U.S. waters. Mostly the exciting thing is getting our community back working again. The port also gives an update to Florida's lawsuit against the CDC. Mediation is scheduled for tomorrow morning and both sides are ordered to come to a resolution by June 1st. At Port Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero. Getting results, News 6.